ba 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 It's that Mysterious Space theme song. Hello, Internet. This has been with another Mysterious Space update. Um, it's getting close to the end of the month, right? So I'm, you know, I'm getting close to ready to release. So the timing is working out just great. I have all the new stuff in. There's just like a few little bugs and, and kinks to, to work out, but I think uh, just, you know, another good programming session and I'll have that stuff worked out. Uh, and then we will have a wonderful 7.8 release. Let me show you, let me get the mouse off of here, uh, what I've been working on. Bum, 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 bum. I just like the music that he's made. Um, like this is a funny bug that happens now when you're pressing enter to add a new player, it processes that as you trying to submit your name. And so then it goes, oh, please name your ship. Instead of, because it's, it's like, oh, error, you're not doing things properly. Anyway, test, test, test. All right. Okay. So one thing, there is now a little sound clip. You you wouldn't have been able to hear it, which is too bad. Um, I got my friend and I, and we recorded us saying "Hello, Captain," and and so it's got then like a robotic sound uh, given to it, um, which apparently you do just by doing a super quick echo, like an echo with a point oh five or something silly, you know, second delay, and that gives it the robotic sound. And I did some other little tweaks, uh, adjusted the the pitch and. Um, uh, reduce the quality of the sound a little bit because it doesn't matter it's not as bad as it would be if it was like really a Super Nintendo or whatever system you would imagine this game being on um, but anyway so every time the the computer person talks to you now it goes hello captain um, only the first time in a block so she I keep wanting to say she but but the computer the AI isn't doing it every single time anyway we don't want to do this um, hello captain but they do it there and my voice is in the funny AI um, that you get in one of your weapons if it's blessed and it's like all broken and distorted and so that was kind of fun because I recorded me just saying uh, what are you saying like hail commander or something like that but then I put like a little static over the whole thing and cut out little pieces of you know just 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 solid cut out parts of the sound to make it sound all chopped up it was a really good effect um, but anyway that's not what I'm what we're here to show you what I'm here to show you is oh there's little critters Oh, I, I found it already! So these are these alien obelisks, and your tra so this is me using my tractor beam, right? My tractor beam does it. And I don't know if you can see, I, I want to make it like shoot off little particles, and just to give a little more visual, oh, something's happening, but it turns red. It gets redder and redder, um, and it'll kind of cool off uh, as you um, stop tractoring it. But let's, uh, let's just keep tractoring it. What's going on? We appear to have fallen into a pocket of folded space. <laughs> That alien structure is probably there to protect against this very event, but was disrupted by attracting me. So another thing I need to fix is her timing, right? Because we're about to crash into something and her dialogue is in the way. Anyway, our ship isn't powerful enough to go against the gravitational fields. We'll just have to let them carry us along and out the other end. Oh, good, there's another end. Wait, I'm picking something up. A ship, or what's left of it. Yes, I'm picking it up too. It's three feet in front of my face. <laughs> Again, this timing. Uh, there's also fragments we may be able to use as fuel. If possible, we should pick these up, but survival is our top priority. So these... I have hacked the game right now for, for testing to make it so the obelisks appear on every single level, and so you have to go in to get fuel. That's not how it's going to be when, when you get it in play. Only on levels where there's bonus extra fuel will these um, obelisks possibly appear. Uh, and um, yeah, so you don't have to get the fuel at all. It's, it's, in, it's the extra fuel if you want to take a, a different you know, unmapped path or whatever. I, I don't know. Anyway, some levels have extra fuel. I, I realize that maybe not everyone knows that. Depends on how far you've gotten in the game. Sometimes there's an extra hidden fourth fuel, and in that case, it will sometimes now be hidden in these obelisks. Um, so let me uh, see if I can dodge these debris. As you can see, I'm being for... Oh, no, there's debris! Uh, you can kind of slow yourself down. Here's some goodies. Um, and so what's actually going on is there's a very strong... See, everything's getting pulled over uh, that direction. Um, so you can slow yourself down by going against, which looks kind of weird, right? Like it's a sudden, I don't know, it looks kind of funny to me when you, when you suddenly slow down. I don't necessarily like that. Oh, I'm going to crash. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Um, but this is what it is. Uh, and as she said, I'll, I'll eventually get pulled out. Oh, let me get that item. As you can also see, there's only like four or five, I think there's five debris pieces. Oh my goodness, let me pause and talk again. Sorry, that's like, you really have to pay attention. So you go real fast, right? Um, and there's a different song playing. Again, you probably couldn't hear it. It's the song that used to be on the Mining Worlds, but I got a more better Mining Worlds song from, from DDR Kirby ISQ. 
but that old song, I, I wanted it always to be for um, asteroid field levels, which I was going to do a different kind of level where it was an asteroid field, and it would play basically like that, but with big asteroids coming at you, and it would be a whole level in and of itself, you know, instead of going to an ocean world or whatever, I was going to have these occasional asteroid uh, worlds where you just like, oh my god, survive the asteroids. I'm really glad that instead I... So, I don't know, I'd been intending to do that for a long time and kept pushing it off, and then when I was doing this bonus, I was like, oh, I should, you know, reuse that work that I already put toward the asteroid levels, because I'd, I'd already done a bunch of coding for it, I had just not finished it, and now that I have played it, I'm very glad that it's a bonus instead of a regular level, because I feel like it's kind of, you know, harder. Um, and because it is harder, I added in those uh, items that I was trying to pick up that, that you saw, the little crates. Those didn't used to be in there, but I was like, dude, this is hard. You better get, you know, some good stuff out of it or, or some, you know, some stuff. Uh, and you may notice that now that I've popped out, oh, thank you, tutorial, I, I've been teleported somewhere random on the on the level. Um, it, it just always spits you out at a random place, and it's different every time, but we can go back in. So if I've missed the fuel, as I have, um, I can hop back in. I just have to get back here heated up or whatever you want to say. The internal variable is called heat. Um, and then we do it again. Oh, I've already missed a thing. Ugh. Gosh, it's like it should just have you go slow unless you speed up because you would never... Oh, no, I've missed it again. You would never want to go fast. If you can remember, the fuel is always in the same positions. Um, you might be able to tell that these little parts are kind of floating around. Um, so they move, but the fuel and the pickups are always in the same place every time you, you go through. So... And, you know, that's not necessarily said to you, but... Oh, there we go. So, the fuel, at least, hopefully you would remember the kind of position... God, I missed it again. I should really just be slowing down. I should make it so that you're always thrusting backwards or something. See, this is this is why this is why I'm not quite done, because there's a little... Just a little, like, some cleanup work to do. Um, there's also some cleanup with the animals. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here's that pickup. Now, where was that fuel? Do you remember? I feel like it was on the upper kind of upper part. I'm like forcing myself to go slow, which is having a weird... Yeah, there it is. 4-4! Four, four. Good, I'm done. Now I just have to survive. Oh, and so you can blow these up, but it's really hard, and I they um they resist a lot of the damage that you deal to them, and that was intentional, because I didn't want you just blowing everything up. Like, I initially had it so you could blow them up if you just focused fire on them, but it just meant you just sat there and shot forward all the time, and it didn't matter. Um, but if you go through... Like, I, I don't know if you could see, there was a part that was smoking, which is kind of silly, because from her explanation, these things have been destroyed for a very long time, so smoking probably isn't, you know, something they would do. <laughs> but we still need the damage indicator, it's fine. Um, anyway, I think I've got everything. As you... no! Ugh, gosh, okay. Uh, as you go further through the game, so... Um, and now I'm somewhere very similar to the last time. It's not proving as random as I had promised. It is, it, it's more random than that. Random numbers! Random numbers sometimes aren't as random as you feel they are, because human brains are bad at things. Uh, anyway, the bonus, these little bonus levels, or whatever you want to call them, these, what would what, you call it, like a fold in, in space or whatever? Anyway, um, the further in you go, the harder the level, the harder those things will be. Um, and harder basically just means longer. Um, it doesn't place more I mean, there will be more total debris, but the debris isn't more densely packed. I think the, the like, I, I feel like they're already pretty densely packed. I, I don't want to mess with that, but it gets longer, so it's just, you know, survive more. Um, but for the same four fuel pieces. Uh, but there are also more goodies in the later ones, so so that's a good thing. Um, and yeah, that's I, I guess really that's about it. That's going to be kind of a big thing, this update, I guess. You know, it's a, it's a new crazy gameplay mechanic. Um, and hey, if you had an invincibility thing, it would be a real good idea <laughs> for that. Because um, those things can be scary. When, when you crash, it's really bad. So didn't I... I got like messed up and disabled once, right? Yeah, I got disabled. Um, and I happened to survive, which is real good. Because a lot of the time, when you can't dodge, you know, if you get disabled, it's just all over. Um, so the fact I was not disabled was good. And I'd really like to see how it works out in uh, multiplayer. Because I don't... Actually, no, so that's something else I'm going to have to test. I don't believe, like the way it's coded, it should be fine. It is totally possible that one player could get further ahead. Um, and actually, when it happens, so it's kind of weird. I didn't, I just didn't know how to do this better. So you both enter and you both exit always at the same time. So if you activate the crazy, the, the I wanted to say shrine, uh, the, the obelisk, the alien obelisk, both players get teleported in. Um, which maybe is a little awkward. Maybe it would be better to have just one. That might be a, have to be a future update, because 
Uh, I don't think it's going to be so great to do in the code right now. But anyway, then once any player gets to the very end, then both of you are taken out, which is maybe even more weird. Like, at least both of you getting sucked in, you could just be like, well, it's spaces everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. I, that makes a little more sense to me than, like, one person triggering the exit, but... There it is. Um, and again, that's, you know, that doesn't have to be fixed forever. That might be something that, that I would want to change. Um, the way I coded it, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe was not the best because it's going to make that hard to do. But I, I might be able to work with that. Um, anyway, so thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. I don't want to ramble forever. Um, and we're on a set release schedule now, so I don't even have to tell you when it's going to be released. It's going to be the end of the month. The end or the very beginning of the next month. You know, somewhere, you know, plus or minus one day, basically, just depending on work and life and everything else. So anyway, thanks again, and uh, goodbye.